Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at barium and we want to understand what it is and why it becomes a problem. So barium is a naturally occurring element that is one of the six alkaline earth metals. And as an element of the periodic table, it's designed with the symbol BA. And about 0.05% of the earth's crust is actually barium. When isolated, it exists as a soft silvery white machinable metal. And pure barium can also be combined with other metals to form alloys that are used to make machine elements such as bearing or spark plugs for internal combustion engines. Though barium can also be present in the landfill, jet coal waste, corrosion inhibitors, and de-icing products and high-octane fuels. But when is it actually becoming an issue? So barium is found naturally only in combination with other elements, and the health risk posed by these compounds is directly proportionate to their solubility in water. So that's where it becomes the issue. The more easily they dissolve in water, the greater risk they present. The water solubility of barium compounds increases with decreasing pH, increasing acidity, and the most common forms, barium carbonate and barium sulfate, are poorly soluble in water, and if unaltered, are considered to be non-toxic. Barium sulfide slowly decomposes in water, forming barium oxide and barium hydrosulfide. The compounds are most soluble in water and pose the greatest health risks are barium acetate, barium chloride, barium cyanide, barium hydroxide, and barium oxide. Oil and natural gas drilling presents risk for barium to contaminate drinking water and water trapped in the pores of rock during its formation or other natural underground waters with high salt concentrations, often toxic barium compounds. And drilling activities give these waters an opportunity to come to Earth's surface and potentially contaminate underground drinking water aquifers. Barite, a natural occurring barium compound, is a common component of drilling fluids or muds used to aid the drilling process. Although barite is not toxic, when it comes in contact with deep water brines existing below the Earth's surface that are highly naturally occurring in chloride, it converts to barium chloride, which is highly toxic. This also happens when barite is exposed to natural deposits of halite rock salt. So what are some of the issues and health risks you can experience with barium? So it's not classified as a human carcinogen, and the average adult contains about 22 milligrams of barium from consuming vegetables and grains. And these are low levels of barium. They're not harmful. However, large quantities of barium salts can be toxic, even deadly. And barium can cause gastrointestinal issues, can affect the brain, the nervous system, causing brain swelling, cardiac irregularities, tremors, weakness, anxiety, shortness of breath, and paralysis. Other organs damaged by water-soluble barium compounds are eyes, immune system, heart, kidney, spleen, respiratory system, and skin. For drinking water, the maximum containment level set by the EPA used by the PADEPE is 2. milligrams per liter or 2,000 parts per billion. In California, it's 1 milligram a liter or 1,000 parts per billion. We can see Arizona, it's 1,500 parts per billion. So, <laughs> this is just in general. The level of barium in drinking water should be not detectable or less than 1 milligram. And barium concentrations in drinking water in the United States typically average 0 0.0 milligrams per liter. But it can be as high as 0 0.302 milligrams a liter. However, individuals residing in certain regions of Kentucky, North Illinois, New Mexico, Pennsylvania, who rely on groundwater, can be exposed to barium concentrations as high as 10 times the EPA's maximum containment level. So the only way to really know if you have a lot of barium, though, is to get tested. Now, you can do it yourself, but kits are limited. So it's a good idea to get certified water testing from a third-party company you trust. That's why it's always a good idea to have your water periodically tested for high levels of barium.